Today is going to be an interesting one as we talk about Cloudflare today introducing a new AI as a defense mechanism of all things. It's designed to trap unauthorized bots that scrape data without permission. And this announcement was made called Trapping Misbehaving Bots in a AI Labyrinth. We're going to get into why this is important in protecting people's data, what Cloudflare is, and why it's important that Cloudflare actually created this AI labyrinth, and how hopefully this is going to minimize some of the privacy and intellectual property issues that we're running into with AI scraping the web today. This blog post starts with, today we're excited to announce AI Labyrinth, a new mitigation approach that uses AI-generated content to slow down, confuse, and waste resources of AI crawlers and other bots that don't respect the no-crawl directives. So to understand what the no-crawl directives is, that's a rule that websites can apply in what's known as a robots.txt file, which gives certain rules to outside web crawlers, letting them know what's allowed and what's not allowed. The problem nowadays is those are completely being ignored and spaces are getting crawled either way. When you opt in, Cloudflare will automatically deploy an AI-generated set of linked pages when we detect inappropriate bot activity without the need for customers to create any custom rules. And this new tool is opt-in only to all customers included in the free plan as well, which is fantastic. At this point, it's kind of funny as we're using AI to defend against AI. As we're gonna see here in the next little bit, it's quite fascinating the hoops that we have to go through to protect our data. But for those of you who don't know what Cloudflare is, Cloudflare is a major internet infrastructure company that also dabbles in security. It really just helps websites protect against things like malicious attacks, including DDoS, bots, hackers, so on and so forth. It also helps improve loading speeds for websites, offering services like DNS management, CDNs, which are content delivery networks, and firewall protection, and more networking tools as well. It is a very well-known player in internet infrastructure. Lots of websites use it, and you've probably seen the verifying that you're a human from Cloudflare when trying to access some of their CDN edge locations. So how are they accomplishing this new, what they're calling defensive weapon? Well, let's get into the details. AI generated content has exploded, reportedly accounting for four of the top 20 Facebook posts last fall. Additionally, Medium estimates that 40% of all content on their platform is AI generated, which is an insane amount. Could you imagine one in two articles being generated by AI slop? That's pretty incredible at this point, especially because AI hasn't existed in this form or factor for nearly about three years. So that's a lot of content to be made all within the last few years. Like any newer tool, it has both wonderful and malicious uses. At the same time, we've also seen an explosion of new crawlers used by AI companies to scrape data for model training. And this is a big deal. As more and more AI companies start to come from under the woodworks, we all understand that they need data in order to train and they are throwing a bunch of tools and resources into AI crawlers that generate more than 50 billion requests to the Cloudflare network every day. That's also an incredible amount. And it's nice to see because we get a big company like Cloudflare who can tell us exactly how much usage we get from AI crawlers. That's just under 1% of all web requests we see, quite a bit. And that's only on one network that's giving us that information. You can imagine other networks or ones that are not even protected and how much they get. While Cloudflare has several tools for identifying blocking unauthorized AI crawling, we have found that blocking malicious bots can alert the attacker that you are onto them, leading to a shift in approach and never ending arms race. So we wanted to create a new way to thwart off these unwanted bots without letting them know that they have been thwarted. It's interesting how they're approaching this as a battle of some sort or war against AI crawlers especially when they're using their own AI to defend against AI. It's kind of funny to listen to it phrased that way, but that's just what we're equipped with at this point. Some of you would be interested in understanding how Cloudflare actually designed this. Well, to generate convincing human-like content, we use Workers AI with an open source model to create unique HTML pages on diverse topics rather than creating this content on demand, which could impact performance. We implemented a pre generation pipeline that sanitizes the content to prevent any XSS vulnerabilities and stores it in R2 for faster retrieval. 
So why is it important to protect people's data like this, especially on the web? Well, this is important because unauthorized bots frequently scrape and misuse data that individuals and companies have invested significant time and effort to create. It makes sense why you would want to distract the bots with fake and realistic data that's actually not valuable to them because now you're actually wasting their resources and will hopefully preserve privacy, intellectual property, and integrity of user-generated content. As we can see in the graph, we are comparing the different categories of AI crawlers in here. So you can see we have AI scraper in blue, AI search, AI assistant, and it's the number of requests per day. So an AI assistant, we can think of this as like trying to get to the web and just try to find some sources. I would believe AI search would be simply searching the web with AI. But the one that's most interesting is the AI scraper. This is when an AI actually accesses the content and uses the content within a website or some sort of internet sources in order to get the data and then more than likely save it so that it can be used in things like training or just data gathering. And we can see an interesting trend over the last year about as more and more AI gets created, we've seen this gradual but upwards trend of AI scrapers doing their deeds as the daily requests have been jumping steadily. Now that was after a drop, which we were really seeing kind of a convergence here. It didn't seem like AI was going to get any better, which one can argue that it hasn't really gotten better. It just has more training data. And as you can tell, to grab more training data, they need to scrape more. Anyways, this is what Cloudflare is trying to protect against. To get into the fact of how to use AI Labyrinth to stop these AI crawlers and even show you what you have to enable, AKA in configurations, if you're using Cloudflare under your security settings, you can set the AI Labyrinth beta to on in order to add that AI generated content. And why is it important that Cloudflare created this AI Labyrinth? Well, Cloudflare handles around 10% of all web requests globally. It already protects millions of websites, and just due to the fact of their immense scale, they can actually identify and effectively mitigate attacks like web crawlers, and they already have a massive reach. So protections like this AI labyrinth is going to benefit a huge segment of the internet immediately. Clearly they have a robust infrastructure and the means to create AI like this. So it's a big deal that Cloudflare has done this. Whether or not you care, it will affect how the internet is used and gives us some protections. I mean, think about the average small website. It's really helping those people save their intellectual property. It's hard to actually create good content, but it's easy to repurpose and steal that content. This is definitely a step in the right direction. Although admittedly, it still seems a little goofy that they're using AI in order to fight the AI. Of course, this benefits Cloudflare as it's an enhanced product offering. Making more tools strengthens its hold on customers, both existing and new. It's gonna reduce the operational costs for them as well. You can imagine that Cloudflare already manages a bunch of resources for the web anyway. And if they can lower their bandwidth, which in turn is gonna lower the infrastructure costs by reducing the amount of requests on their infrastructure, well, you better believe they're gonna be doing it. Also, this is also gonna help them create future security products. Cloudflare gathers this valuable information about bot behaviors, and then they can improve to their own security products, just like they are here. It gives them an early competitive advantage because I haven't quite seen this across any other internet infrastructure company. So it's a massive win when it comes to Cloudflare. What also would be a massive win is if you smash that like button for me, I really would appreciate it. Also think about subscribing below. YouTube can get finicky and you wouldn't want to miss another video like this. Let's keep reading about AI honeypots created by AI. So the core benefit here for AI Labyrinth is to confuse and distract bots. However, a secondary benefit is to serve as a next generation honeypot. In this context, a honeypot is just an invisible link that a website visitor can't see, but a bot parsing HTML would see and click on, therefore revealing itself to be a bot. Honeypots have been used to catch hackers as early as the late 1986 cuckoo's egg incident. And in 2004, Project Honeypot was created by Cloudflare founders prior to 
funding Cloudflare to let everyone easily deploy free email honeypots and receive lists of crawlers IPs in exchange for contributing to the database. But as bots have evolved, they now proactively look for honeypot techniques like hidden links, making this approach less effective. AI Labyrinth won't simply add invisible links, but will eventually create whole networks of linked URLs that are much more realistic and non-trivial for automated programs to spot. The content on the pages is obviously content no human would spend time consuming, but AI bots are programmed to crawl rather deeply to harvest as much data as possible. When the bot hits these URLs, we can be confident that they aren't actual humans, and this information is recorded and automatically fed to our machine learning models to help improve our bot identification. This creates a beneficial feedback loop where each scraping attempt helps protect all Cloudflare customers. A big deal as they break down exactly how this is going to work, at least in their minds and in the future. I do want to spend a second and talk about the implications of data web scrapers for AI and how it raises significant concerns in a multitude of places. I found a great article for this, which I'm going to put in the description below, but I want to finish up by reading about what's next, and then we'll move on to that article. This is only the first iteration of using generative AI to thwart bots for us. Currently, while the content we generate is convincingly human, it won't conform to the existing structure of every website. In the future, we'll continue to work to make these links harder to spot and make them fit seamlessly into existing structure of the website that they're embedded in. You can now help us by opting in now to take the next step to fight against the bots. They want you to opt into the AI labyrinth today. So if you are using Cloudflare, you might think about doing this. Now, we'd be naive not to think that Cloudflare is going to be using this data in order to improve their own AI. So take it a little bit with a grain of salt when you're opting into things like this on exactly how that data is going to be used. But overall, I do believe this is a step in the correct direction as gathering this data with data web scrapers for AI causes massive concerns. And one of the best articles or documents that I could find about these concerns of AI data scraping are in the following published by OECD, which is the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. It's an intergovernmental organization with 38 member countries, but they made a report called the Intellectual Property Issues in Artificial Intelligence Trained on Scraped Data. So very specific to what we're already talking about, but I wanna break down a lot of this because there's a lot to read through here, but the main things here is it helps you understand AI data scraping and how the AI data scraping ecosystem works and what the legal landscape for data scraping and growing litigation is. But I wanna try and break this down for you. So the major concerns are really one, data privacy violation. You can imagine scraping personal data without consent infringements on individual website rights and just individuals in general with their privacy rights as it can lead to the stealing of IP or intellectual property infringement, which leads into two, IP infringement. We can imagine that extracting copyrighted content without permission violates IP laws, so it could lead to legal disputes. Three, increased operational costs. With more and more scraping happening, this is additional overhead for servers, leading to things like bandwidth being increased and excessive bot traffic can even degrade a website's performance for other users, which is a very annoying thing. There's also just ethical and legal concerns as new legal precedent has to happen in order to actually figure out what we should do about these, not only bots, but AI companies. And with a lack of transparency on what exactly is happening with this data scraping, individuals and even organizations are unaware of how their data is going to be utilized in training. And finally, bias which is a massive one. Scraped data may already contain inaccuracies or biases. So that leads to flawed AI models that can be skewed towards a very specific outcome or result. No one wants poor data, but do we really think that any of the big players care about it? They just want to get you information. They don't necessarily want to get you the correct information. Regardless, we have an uphill battle with this one. It is interesting to see how Cloudflare is battling this. Again, AI against AI, this new defensive mechanism that helps generate convincing AI created content so that it can trap bots is going to be an interesting way of fighting against bots. We'll see how effectively this will work and whether or not other internet infrastructure companies are going to also join in in this battle. It is a new product line, so I wouldn't be surprised if others didn't come up with their own obfuscation process against bots. So we'll be looking out for that. And if you enjoyed this video, 
make sure to smash that like button. You made it to the end of the video, you're a true fan, so don't forget to subscribe below for more like this. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux, and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.